Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Cody. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. So this is, I believe this is an anonymous tip. Have you ever considered making a clip channel for your stream? Sometimes I have to watch highlight channels. I don't have time to watch the whole stream. Well, here's the thing. When you say clip channel, you'd have to elaborate on exactly what you're talking about. All right. First of all, highlight channel sounds to me like you're watching someone who literally is stealing my content and only highlighting negative moments because there is absolutely no one out there, to my knowledge, that highlights good stuff. They only highlight bad stuff because they're a bunch of toxic idiots who that's how they get their, their attention on YouTube. Um, so obviously I wouldn't recommend that. If you're just watching highlights from a highlight channel, you're actually basically isolating bad moments, okay, or, or out-of-context moments that they make look bad. Now, when you say clip channel, see, there's a difference between, say, like a shorts channel and a clip channel. A clip channel, I guess what that would do, for example, I've seen these channels for big, big YouTubers. Like, for example, I've definitely seen one for Moist Critical, I think it's called like Moisty Clips or something silly like that. And I think what it is, is someone does it for him or he pays someone to do it. They watch his raw content. They take what they feel is the best moments of his content every day. They chop it up into digestible videos. So let's say in one day of content, he'll have four of these. So four highlights will go up on this Clips channel. And supposedly that's supposed to highlight his best stuff. You see it. Oh, that was good. Right. You laugh at it. And then maybe you want to go to his channel and check out the full stuff. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely an interesting idea, the way that it's done. Um, I don't think that that would really help me, just being honest here. Um, I don't think that it would help me that much. I'm too small of a YouTuber. I can't afford to pay someone to literally sit here and watch all of my content all day, pick the best moments out, and make those kind of edits. Now, in the case of YouTube Shorts, this is something that I have tried to implement over the course of the last year. Um where basically people give me their recommendations for what they feel are the best moments in my content. We watch them together, and we laugh at it. And so I'm saying, that could be a short. And then I will basically suggest that to the few people behind the scenes who have been making shorts for me for the last several months. And if one of them has enough time, then they'll, they'll themselves, you know, make the short based on my recommendations. And there's been a few that haven't worked, but most of them have. I'd say probably out of all the shorts that have been submitted... Probably there's three that I didn't like and I shot down. They didn't turn out right or they're, they're too hard to figure out what they are. Um, but for the most part, almost all the shorts are great. And uh, in regards to that, I've been enjoying just putting the, the shorts up. It brings attention to the channel. Half the time, the shorts get way more views than actually the raw videos I'm putting on this channel. Okay? People, in fact, Cheetah Man just said, I love all your Oblivion shorts. Those have been funny. And I've been doing a lot of those. Okay, no, oh, the stream's working. Hold on. It is working. Returnal. I'm talking to everyone right now. Sounds like an issue on your end. Try refreshing. <laughs> I don't know. Returnal's saying that it's just infinitely loading for him, but obviously I'm talking with you guys, right? Anyway, um, so in regards to Eclipse channel, uh, that entails a lot more work that entails a lot more scope meaning if you're just making a few a few highlights you know youtube shorts every once in a while every few days that's one thing a clips channel entails a lot of work from people who have to be dedicated to do it i can't pay anyone to do it and i, I don't have the skill to know how you know so plus i don't i'll be honest no i don't feel that if i made a whole new channel called dsp clips and i threw clips on it that people would watch it i don't think so i mean maybe that's just me i don't think i'm big enough if i was a giant streamer and people were like, oh, I want to know the best things that the giant streamer did today. And then maybe I'll go watch some of the videos based on the recommendations. But I'm not. I don't get that kind of attention on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that would even be very beneficial. Maybe I'm completely off base here and you guys know better than me. And if you feel that that is something that I should pursue, then please, by all means, let me know. I love constructive feedback. I feel that this tipper actually is trying to give me some constructive feedback. But I don't see how that would work for a small time guy like me. You know what I mean? Drip gone. I got the 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 drip gone. It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I said I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean, these, these dumb kids. This is what it is, it's dumb kids. 